Hey guys, I am super excited for today's video. This is something, I had to order it from eBay. I have been scouring the internet for this particular thing, or this particular doll, for about a year now. <laughs> After I get this, they'll probably end up having more. But um, I'm going to get this box open and I'll show you exactly who it is. So check this out, guys. Take this moment to guess who this possibly could be. If you guessed Bridie, you guessed right. So this is the Fashion Spree Shopkins Shoppies uh, Bridie Super Shopper Pack. This was exclusive last uh, November of 2018. Exclusive with uh, Costco's. Now, Costco's have, has done a few of these. I, I think they did another set of these the year before for 2007. Uh, sorry. For 2017 and in 2017 you were able to get these online and not be a member they don't have any costcos around my area so i went and did that these ones were exclusive to the bricks and mortar you weren't able to get them online unless you know somebody bought a few and sold them but uh i have had the hardest time getting my hands on some i didn't want to pay you know, hundreds of dollars to be able to get my hands on one. But finally, I ended up getting this girl. The um, I think they initially went for about $20, and I got her for $30. So I'm pretty excited. Only $10 more a year later. I'm excited. I absolutely love her box art right here. And then she comes with all these different Shopkins we get to look at today. Uh, over 20 pieces, it says. And this is, I think... A really gorgeous version of Bridie. I've, I've been so excited for her. There is another one that came out around the same time as her. We did that review a while back, I believe. And it was for... Um, did I do a review on her? I don't even know. Hmm. I think I did. <laughs> it was for the other version of... Macy Macaroon. But I have to agree, I mean, I have to agree, I have to admit that she was more exciting to me than Macy Macaroon. Uh, yeah, um, look at this box art, so beautiful. And let's just take a look around. It just says something on the bottom here that I didn't even realize that it was a thing. It says, will you find the limited edition Izzy Invite? So apparently there's a limited edition Izzy in Invite. There's two hidden Shopkins inside. I think we probably know who the Shopkins are. And she comes with a little, uh... They all kind of come with, uh... These exclusive Costco sets usually come with a purse that they can kind of hold. But Shopkins will fit in them. This particular one comes with a an exclusive... I haven't seen this in so long, I'm so excited. <laughs> she comes with an exclusive comb. She comes with a VIP card. So, pretty awesome, guys. And we're going to take a look at the rest of the box... And then on the back here, it says, Girls Day Out. The Shoppies have hit the stores for a whole lot more fun with their Shopkins friends. Bridie is marching down the aisle and celebrating a party of exclusive Shopkins who have gorgeous glitter finishes. It's time to add some sparkle and make it a special day. Over here... It says, Bridie, I do love to shop. Everybody loves a wedding. There is nothing more exciting than shopping for that special day. So much to organize. Celebrate the glittering event with her Shopkins besties and make it a sparkling day that everyone will remember. Favorite hobby, wedding ring shopping. Shopkins BFF, Wyona Wedding Cake, and... Flora Floral Bouquet. Favorite place to shop, the We Do Wedding Boutique. So in the background here, it shows Jacenta, which was the one of the first budget line shoppies, I believe. I hate to say budget line, but yes. She was part of the... Uh, was it Shop Style? I can't remember. But anyhow, and then in the background here, we have the We Do Wedding Boutique back there. 
Uh, we have a whole bunch of Shopkins just hanging out everywhere. There's Wyona Wedding Cake right here. And here is Flora Floral Bouquet right here. And I think that's pretty much all we have to look at on the, on the, uh, the box art here. It just says contents, one choppy, 16 exclusive Shopkins, one brush, one VIP card, one bag, and one doll stand. So yeah, she's so pretty. I, I, I hate to break into this box, but we're going to break into this box because we won't, if we don't break into this box, we will not know if we get the limited edition, which we probably won't because I've never ever seen a limited edition Shoppy in real life. And I know that they're far and a few, but they... And these are really cool sparkly, their the detail work on these Shopkins, I'm just, I, oh, I can't wait to get her open. Look at her skirt, guys. She still has the molded top, but she's got a really flowy skirt. It's very exciting. So let's go ahead and get the box open and see what's inside. Okay, so the sad part is I don't think there's an actual checklist for these Shopkins. I know these Shopkins are exclusive in coloration and glitter, but they we have seen them before. I believe this wedding dress was from the Topkins uh, series, the one where uh, the Join the Party series, I believe. Um, this actually may have been a Shopkin that came with one of the versions of Pretty Pressy, maybe. And Blaze's. Uh, Heading over here because she heard Shopkins cracking out. This one, uh, I've, I've seen this one before too. Comment below if you guys remember where this one came from. Here is Blaze. Here she is. She's gonna sit right on him. Is this Promy? Does anyone know? I think this might be Promy. I can't remember this one's name, but I know this came with the, um, one of the, it was an exclusive to. One of the Topkins playsets from Join the Party. It was part of the layered cake. It's supposed to be a ring. It's like 80 ring band or something like that. And this is a sparkled out, recolored version of Wyona Wedding Cake that came with our original version, who was part of the Join the Party uh, clan. And this is... Um, Flora Floral Bouquet. And we're very glitter here. The glitter's coming off a little bit on our fingers. Not too bad, though. Is this Tiara Tiara? I don't really know, but uh, the detail work in this is awesome. So we're all pink. And the crown around her is got sparkles and sequences in it. Which is really nice. And then we have another really awesome sparkly pearlescent wedding cake here. I don't know who this is, but look at the floral little uh, frosting fl flowers on there. She's really cool. And we have this little purse. I don't, I don't know if this is from World Vacation. This might be from something else. It seems like it could be from World Vacation in a different color. I know this one was from Join the Party. I remember this one. It's like Lana... Lana... Lantern, maybe? Is that who this one is? I'm so bad. I'm remembering some... It's been so long since Join the Party. 2017, that's a long time ago, guys. And this is another one that was from uh, one of the, uh, the wedding set from Join the Party was the uh, little bell. Another one from Join the Party. There's also, this one also was recolored for the Glow in the Dark Halloween series that very year. I don't know who this is, but it sure looks like June Balloon. It sure looks like it could be June Balloon recolored with a bunch of bubble dots on her that are pink and vines. I don't know. Maybe not. I, if anyone knows who this is, or if this is June Balloon, can someone confirm that in the comments below? I'm so bad at all these Shopkins. I know I've seen them. I think I'm, I'm doing a good job identifying where they came from, just not um, 
their actual names. So we have two Shopkins hidden behind here. I don't know if they're going to be in blind bags or not, but we're going to take a look at those right now before we look at our doll. Oh, they're in blind bags too. Okay. Let's go with this one first. So our first blind bag we have... Oh, is this little ring box, which also came with... This design also came with the, um... The wedding playset for Join the Party. Um, I keep mine in the little party... The little box that, they, that came with it. But it's the recolor of them are, are even more awesome than the or, original ones were. This is going to be our um, Izzy invite, but we don't know if it's going to be limited edition. I don't feel a paper in here, so probably not, but we still get in the, the uh, recolor of her. So I guess if she was limited edition, we would have gotten papers, and it would have been, uh, I guess, metallic silver, it looks like on the front. She is actually done in a light pink with a dark, darker pinkish reddish invite with a couple of hearts on it she was also a member of the bridal set from join the party so that's what a lot of these ones came from so we're gonna take a look at her the bag here so we have this cute light like really really light pastel pink carrying purse here it's got a nice texture to it and it opens up like this. You can put a Shopkin in there. Maybe two if they're small. And she can carry that around. Uh, we have this mint colored, like mint, light mint colored comb that she comes with here. That looks like a little bit of a wedding cake with a little frosting flower on the top. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that she came with a comb. And a VIP card behind here. We're going to grab that out. So here's my complaint of the moment. They sticky taped this into the back of the box. It kept it there and it looked good for display if you never opened this doll up. But I open all my Shopkins, uh, Shoppies up because I can't help myself. <clears throat> it left some really sticky residue on there. I might be able to scrub it off, but I'm afraid. I don't know. Um, this is the VIP card. Most of the Shoppies used to come with these. They stopped coming with these when they came out with the budget line. Um, somewhere, I think at the beginning of the year, they stopped coming with these. They were phasing them out last year. Uh, but this one's for Bridie. And they all have their, um, their, bo their concept art, box art, the box art for them. Their, their cartoon self is always on the VIP card. And on the back of it is always a code for the app, which I have never looked at or played. I'm, I'm actually scared of it. I might be addicted. And here's Blaze uh, making a mess. There goes the Shopkins. So pull out the stand here. We have our stand, which is the standard um, stand for the Shopkin Shoppies. Nothing special about that one. Let's go ahead and get our girl out. Okay. She was such a pain. So, okay, I was sweating getting her out of her box, by the way. She had, uh, sh the way she was attached in there was, like, the basic way they're attached. Like, their headband, their arms, and their feet. But she had two, um, like, hair tie things I had to cut holding a couple of the curls in there. And I didn't realize it. And I started tugging at her. And I was like, why is she not coming out? And I almost ruined all of her curls. So, I, yeah, I had a... I had an oh crap moment. <laughs> so anyhow, is she not gorgeous, guys? All this pastel, she looks just like a wedding cake topper to me. I think they nailed it a little bit more with this version than they did with the original one. Although I still like the original version one. But I really like um, how her hair is a softer color, I believe. I'm going to have to take a look. We'll have to do uh, another video, I think, uh, comparing all the brideys and... Uh, some other, let's do another video, but regardless. <laughs> so this is the one from 2018 November. We have uh, the same headband, just redone. So uh, it's done with a, a pale pink with a metallic darker pink 
uh, paint accents on the cake topper with the hearts. You can see the there's the girl, there's the boy, there's the cake. There is the roses that are done in the same color. It's supposed to be part of the cake. Moving down to her hair, it's very shiny. Uh, it looks like there is there definitely is some sparkles, in uh, sparkle hair follicles <laughs> that are mixed in with the pale pink. Uh, she does have all those really tight curls. This one though doesn't have really any. Uh, there is absolutely no hair product in this at all. I worry about the curls like this when there's no hair product. Although people gripe about wanting no hair products and they like how soft it is, I am I'm understanding and actually like when there's hair products when they're supposed to be tight curls like this because it keeps them from falling out. Because within time, gravity does work. And, you know, if you're a collector like me and they're sitting on a shelf, that's just going to just fall right out, I think. Um, so, yeah. So she has a couple of ones in the curls in the front. And then she has a side bang part right here. Where the headband goes on and then the lo loose curls in the back. Um, as for her dress, her top is molded on. Typical of a Shopee. It's done in a pearlescent light pink. You can see up close um, the off-the-shoulder straps. And then, then the heart bodice that have the detail work that looks like frosting. Awesome. Her lips are also pastel pink. They're open and you can see inside of her mouth. Her teeth. Uh, they're done in a metallic paint as well. She has blue eyes with a sparkly light pink eyeshadow and light pink eyebrows that match her hair. Inside her blue eyes, if you look close enough, you can see that there's white hearts in each one of them. Moving down to the bottom part of her dress, it's supposed to flow into this really nice, it's a ribbony type material. Uh, the top layer is. And it's the same color. It really matches well uh, of her bodice. Moving down from that, our next layer is a little bit of tulle. And the tulle has these big hexagon uh, multicolor. Well, what do you want to call them multicolor? They're like pinkish purple sparklies. Uh, sequins. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. And then the next layer is a soft satiny fabric that's white. And it's lined with lace. So I'm. it's a very impressive, very beautiful uh, shoppy skirt. You can also see that uh, she has a pastel white shoe on. You have uh, that florette, that flower, frosting flower on the front. And then you have, it kind of comes down to a dip in the front. So there's the cake wedges. The tear, cake tears, I guess. Having a really hard time focusing on that. There we go. And then, of course, the frosting goes all around the top of the heel. Really, really gorgeous. But yeah, that's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.